Hi, I'm Kate Harris, and I am a mobile product manager that focuses on Android at the New York Times, and I'm with... Hi, I'm Farah Asir. I work on our Android app. I'm a designer. We were actually um, on Android pretty early. Our first app debuted in 2010. But I think we, we, like many other publishers and developers, were very rushed just to get something out there. And we took what we knew, which was iOS at the time, and tried to make it work on Android. When Google came out with the design principles with Android 4.0, we were very excited. And we decided that that was the right time to completely rehaul what we had and embrace the new principles and relaunch our app. In response, we recommitted to Android, I'd say. Yeah, and I think I think our goal was to make it more intuitive for Android users, and I think I think that worked. After a lot of work in September, we were able to relaunch our phone app, and then quickly after, in December, we launched our responsive app, which took our phone app and scaled it up so it looked great on 7-inch tablets and 10-inch tablets. And so this is what our old article looked like, and here's our new article, and Fair can actually tap into the lead photo and enter a slideshow. So it's a much more interactive article representation. You know, just by looking at our, our list of articles in our old app, which Farah is holding on the left, um, and comparing it with our, our new and improved list of articles on the right, you can see visually just how striking the differences are. Well, it was interesting. Having those constraints in place actually helped us um, focus and, and push our ideas a little further, kind of thinking differently than we would have if we just had blue skies. So it was, it was good to have those um, suggestions or guidelines and, and be able to think about how to make it our own app within those. Um, and I think they help a lot with usability. You know, Android, Android users are familiar with you know, these patterns and we were able to work them in and still make them our own. Another great thing about the redesign was the way we used image varieties and kind of just optimized for the device that the user is on. So if you look at the tablet, we have these big beautiful images that show off our photography. Um, and then if you look at it on the phone, we take into consideration, you know, conserving data and, and, and performance, so we load a smaller image there. I think how we made this app feel like the New York Times um, had, uh, had a lot to do with typography. So we were able to integrate, you know, our custom typefaces and our colors and the way that we, we mix typefaces together is very New York, it makes it feel like the New York Times. One thing that's great about the Google Play Store is it allows us to move quicker with new releases. So now we're actually launching features on Android first before we roll them out on our other platforms. So some of the features that have debuted first on Android are text-to-speech and also comments was rolled out on Android and is something that we're actively working on on our other platforms because our users were so engaged with the, with the content. So we're continually working to improve the app. Last week we just released Search, um, which is very exciting. Users can search locally on the device and also search from the website. We've seen a lot incredible growth actually. Since we relaunched the phone app, our monthly unique users have gone up over 200%. And since we relaunched, um, or actually launched the responsive app um, spanning to tablet, our tablet numbers have increased by 500%.